so today's video is going to be a review on the CCM Extreme Flex 4 composite stick. Uh, funny enough, there's not really much to review because uh, I broke the stick. Broke it about three weeks ago in Georgia, snapped the shaft. But CCM did send me a new one and I was originally going to sell it, but I figured, ah, why not make a review on it? So. And I want to be on good behavior because they told me that I might be getting access stuff if I'm on good behavior. So I'm going to use the stick again, this new one, for your update of CCM Flex 4 review. By the way, the stick is awesome, aside from the brick. So brand new stick, I taped it up, I put all my stuff on, I got an ice time with it. I'm going to use that ice time as the demo, I guess. So let's head out to the ice time because I'm freezing, winter is here. God, this is one of the worst things about living in Winnipeg, I'm not kidding you. Minus 30 every day, and that's a warm day in winter. Minus 40 is like the worst days. To the ice time. Now, as far as what I want to see change in the stick, I want more durability, straight, plain and simple. I mean, there's so much flex in the shaft that as much as I love it for puck handling, I love it for fit and feel, I think it works to the detriment, detriment of the stick because the Premier was so stiff. It was probably the stiffest stick I've ever used in my life, the CCM Premier Composite Stick. And now it's at the point where the E-Flex 4 has so much flex and so much, it's got to be like an 80 flex in that shaft. Like, I'm not kidding you. Like, that's how flexible it is that, again, it's working to the detriment of the stick. Super lightweight, no doubt about it. I don't know if I really have any more issues with it. I think already the best price point as far as a composite stick goes. I mean, if if it was like a hair below the 2S Pro, soon to be the 3S Pro, this upcoming model year, whatever Bauer calls it, if it was a hair under the V1 Pro Plus or even the Vapor 2X Pro, this is my go-to stick. For 250 bucks, I'm saving 100 bucks on a pro level stick just because this is how CCM has priced the stick so competitively. So much potential here, but it's just disappointing because as much as I want to tell you this is an awesome stick and that you should get it, when I can't even get five ice times myself, I can't recommend it. Although granted, this new one has not broken yet. Um, I would anticipate that it's not going to last much longer. Although, hey, I hope I'm wrong. I'll probably post something on Instagram if it does break because my Instagram is just flooded with graveyard pictures of sticks. If you got the cash, spend the cash. If you don't care that you're blowing 250 every couple ice times on a stick, absolutely recommend it. Excited for the access stuff though. Let's talk about that here real quick. I've seen the CCM Axis line. I've, I've gotten a little bit of the rundown on it. I've been told by CCM, quote, if you're on good behavior, well, you might get some Axis stuff. So with that in mind, I'm probably not gonna trash the E-Flex 4 stick for that reason, although I'm not happy with the durability. And I'm probably gonna be on good behavior because, well, I think it's an exciting lineup. Fave is not doing any of the CCM gear. Stuff is lighter than ever before. The blocker is vapor-esque. The pads are thinner than ever before. The glove is, I would say it's identical to a Premier 2 with maybe like a logo change and a graphic change. And the graphics interesting. It definitely looks better in person than it does in photos because it looks like a street hockey pad. Uh, the strapping has changed from the quick motion strapping. I think that's what the Premier 2 stuff was called. The glove is gonna still have the same 580, 590, 600 options, which is awesome. Stock on the double T, I believe. Not the single T, they're all double T's now. I think it's an exciting line. I think the blocker is hands down the most exciting thing of the lineup. Uh, new stick, new chesty, new pants, new helmet as well. All access stuff for this year. And it's not going to be on any of the pros till after the all-star break. So that is one thing I've been told. And I will guarantee you, according to my source, you will not see any of that stuff after the until after the all-star break on the pros. But performance-wise though, the puck handling, the deflecting pucks is great. The feel is fantastic. It's got some great grip on the stick. I mean, the grip is 
Uh, probably one of the better grips out there as far as the composite stick goes. And the curve, the rounded toe, it's got all these things that I, I'm excited about that I like. And I'm also excited for the CCM Access stick. And I get asked all the time, like, why don't you talk about CCM? Why don't you use any of your stuff? Well, for years, I, I haven't found the CCM has been very interesting. I don't think anything that they've come out has been revolutionary, groundbreaking, or anything that makes you say like, wow, like, that's where my money has to go. The G4 has had the air slide, the removable palms. There's so much going on there that I just said, I gotta get a sit. Like, this is this is what's interest me. Uh, before that, the Brian's custom graphics, all the options on all their stuff, that wowed me and said, hey, this is where my money has to go. With the Axis stuff, I would still say that even though I've seen it, this isn't where my money's going to go first off. It's probably, from what I'm being told, probably gonna go to the 3S stuff. I haven't seen anything from Warrior because Kirk Allen, the Warrior rep, doesn't want to tell me anything. Love to hear more about the G5s, but as of right now, I think my money's probably gonna go to the 3S. I hope CCM innovates a little bit more. I hope they come up with an awesome product with the Axis stuff, but this is why you rarely have ever seen me talk about CCM positively, negatively, or of any light of that matter. So just wanted to address that real quick. Okay, so let's conclude the CCM E-Flex 4 review. I'm gonna throw things off to a Q&A. It's gonna be gear themed, I think, uh, because we do Q&As to finish out every video here. So as usual, you want a question answered, put the comment section below, do the Q&A. Uh, Nathan DeRoach uh, with Kill for a Coach Trap video on how to shoot a puck. Uh, how he does. It comes with time with that man strength, right? Like it doesn't happen day one where you're gonna be mustering the puck all the way from your net to the far blue line for a breakout pass. If you wanna get good at puck handling, good at stick handling, good at shooting as a goaltender, especially when you only have truly one functioning hand, you gotta put a lot of time working into that. Next one from Bats Capo, it's not a question, but quote, I did it all for the nookie. I don't think my sticks are breaking at the toe because I tape only the toe, because if they were, they would be breaking on the actual blade itself. 90 to 95% of all my sticks break of the shaft, so I'm gonna debunk that myth right here. It is not because I tape only the toe. I tape only the toe so I get more momentum with the puck when I go to shoot it. And also more control when I deflect pucks with my stick and my butterfly. All right, haven't seen this question before, but Sean Rodriguez asked, uh, if you could buy a Bauer Vapor 2X set of gear, would you buy it? If I was getting a free set, I would take it. Uh, I think any company sending you free gear, you gotta take it. How do you say no? That's why so many gear reviewers on Instagram have like seven sets. All right, I love this next question. This one comes from Curtis Collard and he asks, what's your opinion on padded shirts? Uh, have you ever worn one? And is there a brand you like to stick to you? I wear a Bauer Pro. I think it's called the Bauer Pro padded shirt. It's just like the generic Bauer padded pro shirt they make for goalies. Uh, I think everybody should wear one. I don't like wearing a neck guard simply for the reason that I lose head mobility and shoulder mobility when I have a neck guard on. So the padded shirt kind of gives me that protection where I don't totally break my collarbone, but I get the mobility. Stick with that one if I made a recommendation. Okay, I'm gonna try to wrap up the Q&A here because uh, I think winter is here to stay and is absolutely freezing. Is that a junior hat or is your dome enormous? I have a huge dome. This is like a one size fits all, but I got a pretty big head and you can probably land a helicopter on my forehead. Ryan Ethan Williams, do you use suspenders in your chest protector and why? No, I don't. Reason being is that I find it scrunches everything down and that when I'm in a tight situation, pucks are in my feet, I'm getting kind of hunched over. Kind of restricts my movement and my mobility that I want to have, so I don't wear suspenders for that reason. Also, you cannot rock a money jersey tuck if you got suspenders on. Throw those suspenders out, get that jersey tuck in. Leo Johnson, what's the best exercises for stick handling if you're having a hard time doing that? As I mentioned before, the stick handling, practice, practice, practice. Just just get lots of reps in practice. You're not gonna get better if you're not practicing trying to do that to get better. Sean K24, Trav, if you played out, would you rock a cage, fishbowl, visor, or absolutely nothing? I would go the old C-Mac Craig McTavish. No bucket, I would have some flow, absolutely flown around in the wind, although I am balding, so I don't know how much flow I'd have at that point in time, depending on, well, actually no. no. I'd still probably have some decent flow if I grew my hair out, but I would not rock a fishbowl. Fishbowls are for college players, and pick up hockey. Final question of the day, Joe Drew, if you got to choose what number would you wear? I've never been able to pick my number ever. Anytime I show up to somewhere new, I take the number I'm given, I'm not picky about it, I'm just happy to be on the team. If I did pick though, 33, because Patrick Waugh and the 3-3, three, three, I think just looks good. Uh, number two, just something to be different, not number one, but actually number, number two, like jersey number wise, or 40, Devin Dubnik, or 60, Jose Theodore, who was my idol growing up. So probably I would go in that order, 60, 
sidelineswap.com. Myself, we're giving away three gift cards for the holiday season, so three $50 gift cards to the website. If you don't know what it is, Silent Swap is a great place to buy and sell pro return new new sport equipment. And we're gonna give you 50 bucks off your next purchase with these gift cards for the holiday season. All you have to do is follow Swap on YouTube, follow them on Instagram, follow me on YouTube and Instagram, although I don't really, I'm not gonna enforce you following me. Uh, leave a comment down below why you deserve to win, why you like the Swap, have you used it, had a good experience, anything that is not a first comment or an emoji. So basically, just leave me a good comment. I'm gonna pick three comments that are awesome, and those people are gonna win some gift cards and some cash to the swap. So good luck to everybody, and I will see you in the next video.